Hello dear students, our lesson today is the present continuous tense. It's a grammar lesson. Okay, let's read together this short story about the Jones family. The Jones family is in the park today. If you look at the picture, you will find the Jones family, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Jones, you can also find Sally and Patty and there is also Tommy Jones. Okay, so the Jones family is in the park today. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. So what is happening now here in the park? The Jones family are in the park. The sun is shining as you can see in the picture and the birds are singing. Okay, let's see together what each member of the family is doing at the moment or now. Mr. Jones is reading the newspaper. If you look at Mr. Jones, you will find him now reading the newspaper. Mrs. Jones is listening to the radio. Can you see Mrs. Jones? What is she doing now? Yes, she is listening to the radio now. Now Sally and Patty Jones are studying. Again, Sally and Patty Jones are studying. So, what are Sally and Patty doing now? They are studying. And Tommy Jones is playing the guitar. Look at Tommy. What is he doing now? At this moment of speaking? Yes, very good. Tommy is playing the guitar. The Jones family is very happy today. The Jones family is very happy today. It's a beautiful day and they are in the park. So today they are in the park and here we can see what each one is doing now at the moment of speaking. Now let's look together at the following sentences. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Mr. Jones is reading. Mrs. Jones is listening to the radio. Sally and Patty are studying. Tommy is playing the guitar. So, if we look at the sentences together, you will find some words in a different color, in red. Is and ing. Are and ing. Again, is ing is an ing here are studying we added ing in a red color is an ing here okay is and are what are these yes they are verb to be if you remember together what is verb to be verb to be is am is or are am is or are what about the word shine sing read listen study and play very good they are verbs they are verbs what is a verb a verb is an action something that we can do something that can be done Shine, sing, read, listen, study, and play. So these all are called verbs. These are called verbs. So, each sentence here shows that there is, that we have used a verb to be, a verb, and we add ing to the verb again. Verb to be or sing, it's a verb and we add ing to the verb. The same here is read and ing. 
is listen and ing or study and ing. Okay, why do we sometimes use is and sometimes we use are? Yes, let's remember together what is the pronoun for the noun sun? What is the pronoun? Remember what are what the pronouns are? He, she, it, I, we, you, they. These are called personal pronouns. Okay, what is the pronoun that goes with the noun sun? Very good. It. It is shining. What about the, the noun birds? What pronoun goes with the noun birds? Yes, they, they are singing. So, we can replace the, the noun birds with the pronoun they. We can replace the noun sun with the pronoun it. Mr. Jones, why did we use is here? Yes, Mr. Jones is replaced by the pronoun he. Mrs. Jones is replaced by the pronoun she. So we say she is, he is, it is. Sally and Patty, they are replaced by the pronoun they. That's why we used are. And Tommy, yes, it's, pro, it's replaced by the pronoun he. He is playing the guitar. And what am I doing now? Yes, very good. I'm explaining the lesson to you. So here, am, I use am with the pronoun I. And then I use the verb explain. And then I put ing to the verb explain. Okay, now why do we use the present continuous tense? Why do we use it? We use it to talk about something that is happening at the moment of speaking. Something that is happening now. Okay, how do we know that we have to use the present continuous tense in the sentence? If we see one of those keywords, what are these keywords that we should use with the present continuous tense? If we find in the sentence the keyword now, at the moment, today, this week, look, listen, and shh. Again, now, at the moment, today, this week, look, listen, and shh. So, if we see these words in the sentence, we should use the present continuous tense. Okay, again, let's revise the form of the present continuous tense. How do we form it? Okay. I use the pronoun and then verb to be and then the verb and then ing to the verb. For example, if I say I am eating, I am eating, eat is the verb and then I add ing, it becomes eating. He is she is, it is, let's say, play. Play is the verb and then I add ing so it becomes playing. He, she, it is playing. You, we and they are. You, we and they are. Plus the verb, let's say, uh, drink or jump and then we add ing so it becomes you, we, they are jumping jump 
thing. This is the form of the present continuous tense. Okay, there are some spelling rules. For example, first of all, we have verb and ing. For example, when we say walk, it becomes walking. We add only ing. See, seeing, we added only a ing. There is another case if the verb ends with the letter e, we cross out the e and we add ing, such as the verb write. Look, it ends with letter e. So, we cross letter E and we add ING and it becomes writing without an E. Case number three, if we have, if the verb has one vowel before the last consonant. Here, here is a vowel, remember, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Again, the vowels are a, E, I, O, U. If we have a vowel and then a consonant, then we have to double the consonant. So the M becomes double M and then we add I, N, G. Okay. Now, how do we form the question? How do we form the question? The boys are talking. Look at the sentence here. The boys are talking. Again, we added verb to be and then the verb talk and then ing. So here we have a present continuous tense. The boys are talking. Why did we use are? Because the boys can be replaced by the pronoun they. Okay, how do we form the question? Very good. The verb to be comes in the beginning of the sentence, so it becomes here are, and then the boys come in the second place, so the are the boys talking, and of course, don't forget to add the question mark because we are forming a question here. So, are the boys talking? Are the boys talking? Okay, let's say also the birds are singing. How do we form a question? We say, are the birds singing? The girl is crying. Uh, how do we form the question? Yes. Is the girl crying? Is the girl crying? The boys are talking. How do we form the negative form? What's the meaning of negative? Remember, negative means we use not. Negative means we use not. So, where do we put the not? Yes, after verb to be, between verb to be and the main verb, between verb to be and the main verb. So, the boys are not talking. The boys are not talking. Or we can say the boys aren't talking. The boys aren't talking. Again, the boys aren't talking and this is what we call the short form. This is what we call the short form. Thank you and good luck.